George Daniels said that if you were to go on a package trip to Mars, then this space traveller is the watch that you would take. The space traveller is probably regarded as George's finest piece that he ever made. It has solar and sidereal time, and it has a stopwatch function which allows you to switch between both. For me, what makes the space traveller so iconic are its aesthetics. And they are just so easy on the eye, it's breathtaking. The concept of the watch is like nothing else that had ever been created, or has ever been created since. I first met George at a college I was studying at in Manchester, and he's introduced as the world's greatest living watchmaker. And that started a long journey, really, of seven years, where I made two watches. The second watch took five years to make, and on the completion of that watch, he finally offered me a job to work alongside him in the Isle of Man. He was an incredible teacher, and he had this incredible vision of watchmaking, which he set about achieving. The next watch takes us back to 1952 with the Daniels Mercer chronometer. He trained as a repairer, but he obviously had ideas for making, and he bought a raw caliber, a raw rebors from Mercer, the chronometer makers, and he had to completely finish and rebuild that watch. And that's something that George wouldn't have been trained in. It's signed G.W. Daniels, and I asked him what the W was for, and he said it's for William, but that's not my real name. He said, I thought it sounded better than George. Even at that early age, he had ambitions. The Breguet three-wheel clock was made in 1968. By then, George was the London agent for Breguet, and he'd always been inspired by this clock, and he decided to make a replica of the piece. Nothing has been missed out. It's an incredible execution of a Breguet clock. It's got two of the world's greatest horological names associated with it. You've got Abraham Breguet, and you have George Daniels. They were both the finest makers of their time. For me, it doesn't get much better than that. The Millennium wristwatch is particularly significant to me because it was my reason for moving to the Isle of Man to work with George. George had, for many years, been working with Amiga to develop his escapement to go into their watches, which was the sole purpose of his whole career. He knew he could improve the mechanical timekeeper. He invented the coaxial escapement and it's now been adopted by Amiga. And this millennium is celebrating that incredible achievement. For me, this collection of watches is just a wonderful snapshot into the life of a genius. Each of these individual pieces are in sights. They are a piece of the man. They consumed years of his life. It won't happen again, not in my lifetime.